lungs of the earth, the habitat of biodiversity, the breeding ground of millions and millions of species, is the ancestral home of several indigenous tribes. One of them is the Surui tribe. Like any other aboriginal tribe, the Surui live in harmony with nature standing on their own feet with their own language, culture and territory. However, once again, mankind proved that it is the greatest enemy of itself. Several decades ago, the first encounter of the Soroi with modern civilization was bitter and devastating. They were all but wiped out when they came in contact with alien diseases, reducing their numbers from 5,000 to a mere 250. All their cultures and traditions lost, never to be heard of again. They couldn't leave their mark on the world, a place to call home, their very own. Forced to live away, foreign to them, they had become aliens in the modern world. It seemed that all hope was lost for the Surui tribe. After years of struggle, a glimmer of hope for the survival of the Surui tribe set in as their number gradually increased. However, it seems their fight for survival is not yet over. This time, they are under siege from illegal logging and deforestation. But this time, it's different. This time, the Surui are determined to save their land, themselves, no matter what it takes. So the Surui have put aside their bows and arrows and taken up a new weapon. The internet. The hero behind this huge historical step is the leader of the Suroi, Chief Almir Narayamoga, who decided to use computers and technology to bring attention to their situation. Thus, Chief Almir took a revolutionary step by enrolling into a computer course in the Federal University of Goyas in Goyania. In 2007, he fled the Suroi homeland after his fight against logging as loggers placed a hundred thousand dollar bounty on his head. That same year, sponsored by the Amazon conservation team, he traveled to the United States and paid a visit to the Google headquarters in California. This time he came armed with a new weapon, an idea. The chief asked about the possibility of charting the Surui territory using Google Earth software. Anoting the reserve, an online tour of the reserve, he believed, would help protect the Surui by showing the world the effects of deforestation and the attacks on tribal land. It would also inform the government about illegal operations. This way, Almir hoped to raise funds to restore the rainforest by planting one million trees. Training and education is now our kind of war, he says. We know we have to adapt. Almir's visit to Google was a great success. The multinational Internet Search Corporation sent teams to the Amazon to train the Surui in using computers and cameras, smartphones to photograph logging sites, which could be pinpointed using GPS technology and then uploaded to Google Earth. Now mapped the entire reserve and recorded the biodiversity and the density of the rainforest within it. Four years into their high-tech foray, 
the survey maintained the website payday.org with blogs, videos and photographs for their supporters around the world with English subtitles. While their location mapping is supported by donations from ACT and other groups today, Almir hopes the tribe will become financially independent within the next 10 years. With coffee production and ecotourism the two likeliest revenue resources, the Suru's bigger plan is above and beyond fighting deforestation and illegal logging. With their tree planting efforts under the way, the tribe will make a formal request to join a UN-sponsored carbon trading program under which they would, in a sense, be paid by the industrialized world to preserve the rainforest. Who would have thought that an aborigin would be able to master the arts of the modern world? Who would have predicted that a mere idea can bring an end to illegal operations? Who would have thought that this man would be the savior of the planet's lungs? Who would have thought that the brainchild of such an idea would be the native tribal man who has spent his life in the dark shadows of the Amazon rainforest? Without doubt, the pioneer of his high-tech sorority, Chief Almir Arayamoga, has shocked the world by proving that nothing is impossible.